Shit. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power and will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, 100% reason to remember the name. What's up guys, it's Co from Captain Co. Welcome to this Captain Co tips video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I meal prep for the week. Because, you know, everyone finds it hard dealing with meals when it comes to university, everyone wants to be saving money. So, today, I'm going to show you what I usually prepare for the week. So, I get it all done on a Sunday night, as it is today, like at 11.20 at night. So, that way all my meals are ready for the week. And so I don't need to worry about cooking during the week. All I've got to do is get the food out, heat it up, eat it, and then uh, so I can concentrate on the most important things. So, your workouts, getting your work done, you know, getting your unique work done. So, the important stuff. So, come over here, show you what I've got cooking up. So... We got three protein sources. We got chicken breast, salmon, beef mince. Here we got 10% fat. Then for your carbohydrates, you got pasta, rice, white and brown. Um, personal tip: go for the store brand, so Sainsbury's brand, because so it's much cheaper than other brands like uh, Uncle Ben. Just like you know, if you want to save some money, and because you need some greens, we got some broccoli. So before we start, here's some like helpful tips when it comes to buying your proteins, your carbohydrates. Um, <clears throat> if you can see here, I've got salmon here, and as many of you may know, salmon isn't exactly the cheapest of uh, fish. So yes, I've gone for salmon because you know it's got a lot of your essentials, your omega three, and it's a good source of protein. However, if you are a student or tight on budget, then a good substitute for salmon would be like cod. Um, again, with the with the uh, beef mince. Yes, it is red meat, and there is a lot of controversy around red meat. Um, I personally don't eat red meat that often, um, so I'm having it here, but usually a substitute for this would be maybe like turkey mint or pork mint. Uh, just some things that you guys should probably uh, consider when it comes to purchasing, purchasing your proteins. Now, so let's uh, start off with cream. So, broccoli's all chopped up, uh, gave them a bit of a wash, and now we're just gonna go for like a semi-fry on and broccoli goes straight in. I'm sure I can, uh, I can probably put all of them in once. So. Um, whilst those cut, we'll move on. We'll just put the fish in the uh, in the oven because that's nice simple. Because a helpful tip when doing meal prep because there is a lot of stuff here to cook and uh put the camera on me because <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of um, stuff to cook it's better to get as much done as possible at the same time so all I'm doing here is just like spraying the pan with some non-stick spray hold on just real quick give the uh, broccoli another stir man what's, look at me stir the broccoli <laughs> Give that a little stir, don't let that overcook, but yeah, just real quickly, get as much salmon on the baking tray as possible. Um, Shouts to my flatmate Charlie Cameraman for giving me his uh, <laughs> giving me his tray to use. Get a nice forced piece of that. And nothing too special with the uh, with the salmon. All we're going to do is give it a light salt. Bit of pepper. And finally, I've got this um, barbecue seasoning just because I don't like my fish too bland, you know, just get some flavour. Salmon's all done. Just whack it in in the uh, top shell. And time is now 11.34, give it like 20 minutes, and that'll be done. From back to the broccoli. So as you can see, like it's going slightly dark green, so you know it's like almost finished. So just finish it up with a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. Yeah. It's all gone now, as you can see. Just green enough, so you can tell it's, it's just dark green enough to tell that they are properly cooked. Mm. Um, and then all you want to do is plate this up in your Tupperware. Mm. Next up is the chicken. So first, we're going to preheat pan just so that it cooks a whole lot quicker. Okay, and a useful tip to help the chicken cook oh, a lot quicker is to cut up into 
like small, small pieces, like small cubes, twice per day. Uh, okay, so chicken is all cut up into little cubes. Like I said, this helps them cook a whole lot quicker. But before you throw them on, I mean, like I could throw them on like this and like cook them nice and plain. But I don't really like doing that. So I like to give them a bit of flavour. So the first thing is hit it with an olive oil spray just to help everything else, like yeah, mix into it nicely. Oh, that's funny. So. Get my chicken with a bit of olive oil spray. Then the usual salt and pepper. Pepper. Mix herbs. Leave it bound. Wash the sauce. Get rid of that. Worcester. Worcester sauce. Whatever. Worcester. 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 What the I'm fuck? I'm not going to try and cook as many possible in one go. I think at the same time we're gonna start cooking the uh, the mixed meat as well. That'd be cool. So we're just gonna quickly flip the chicken. So we'll quickly let that side cook, and then we're gonna get the fish out, and we'll just let that cool cool on the side. Fish is ready. Let that cool down. Wait for the chicken, and now we'll get the uh, the mixed meat. Alright, so we're going to let all that cook and uh, I'll choose with you on this once that's done. Okay guys, so chicken's all done. This is the last batch. So what I'm going to do now is, this is all the cooked stuff that I did before. I'm going to chuck it back in the pan. So what I like to do with my chicken is, give it one last heat up. And I've got this, uh, I've got this recipe from uh, Chris Jones. For all of you that know from Pump Chasers, get yourself a bit of sweet baby rays, good barbecue sauce, a bit expensive, but you know, if you've got the money, splash up for it. And uh, what I like to do is, all over the top slightly, get a few bits of there, put that on, and just reduce the heat. Ooh, and literally just mix it up. That and that right there is your barbecue chicken. And the final thing now is pasta. Uh, yeah, and then so everything's done now. If you look over here, uh, look at the table. We, we played up the uh, we played up the fish. We played up the uh, minced meat, broccoli. All of this is going to be cooling down. Chicken, as I said, pretty much finished. Done. Uh, it's pretty much done. Let it cool down. Cut the pasta, takes about like five minutes max, and, uh, and that'll be it. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys once all of it's cooked up. Alright guys, so, food's all cooked, if you look here. So, just a quick recap. So, broccolis, you know, vegetables, greens, get your micronutrients in, all good. Get your vitamins, all of that good stuff. Now, proteins, three different types of proteins. Chicken, mint, fish. All good sources of protein, and the reason I cook three different ones is because each day when I have a new, oh, freaking fly. Uh, each day when I have a different meal, I don't want to eat the, eat the same thing over and over again. And like, for example, if I only cook chicken, I'd have to cook a crap load of chicken to make me last a whole week. So I like to mix it up. And then for my carbohydrate sources, it's got look at that, three Tupperwares of um, pasta. And then like, I've got way more of these, don't worry, but just, just to give you an idea. I also mix it up with rice, two great sources of complex carbohydrates. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my meals for the week. So I'll probably mix it up between like, for example, rice and mint, or pasta and fish, just like, whenever I can, if I'm back in my room, heat it up, and uh, yeah, meals are, meals are ready, no need to worry about cooking. You do it once, and you don't need to do it for the rest of the week. I mean, you can concentrate on anything else, you've got so much more time if you cook it once, at like the beginning of the week, on a Sunday, if you have time, cook it all at once, let it cool down, store it away in your fridge, and then the rest of the week is just open up to do everything else. Concentrate on your workouts, you know, get your work done, Get anything else done. Go on. That's this meal prep done. Remember, meal prep for the week. I'll probably repeat the same process again next Sunday. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys got some good tips from this and uh, go off and try it yourself. Other than that, I'll catch you all in the next one.